Okay, we are taking a trip. We got the bike loaded up. Some brand new Odin gloves. These things are pretty, pretty comfortable. They have tank magnets in them too. So go wherever and just stick your glove on the tank. You don't have to worry about them falling off, which is the best thing. It's a huge selling point for these gloves for me. What we are doing, if I can get my life together here, taking a trip up to the mountains. Meeting up with some of the Sicilian race team fam. Got everything loaded up, strapped down. We're good to go. Oops. The bike hates the cold weather. <laughs> so this is the first time we've actually taken any kind of a long trip on this, except for when we bought this bike and we brought it back the, uh, was it five hours? Uh, really only took about four hours to get home. But uh, yeah, first time we're taking a overnight trip, moto camping. And uh, I think we're gonna be doing a lot of this this summer. Uh, along with you know the racing and all the stuff with the dirt bikes, but this is something that we definitely wanted to add into our our adventures. You know, is uh, definitely getting into some moto camping. Now, unfortunately for us, we <laughs> out of the the group that we are in, this is the only non-adventure bike. So the other guys all have adventure bikes that you know, go off road and, and up single track and all of that stuff with the way this bike is and with our street tires on it. I'm sure we could go off-road with it, but we are not going to. <laughs> um, that might very well be a lie too, I don't know. That's a great thing, that's why I really wanted to get into uh, moto camping and stuff because we know where we're going, we're not sure how we're gonna get there, uh, and I'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow, I'm not sure where we're going or where we're camping tomorrow, but we kinda have a loosely laid plan for today and tonight and we're gonna video all of it and bring you guys some awesome content of our shenanigans out on the road. The best thing, what, what we decided to do uh, is just to add a little cherry to the top of the cake, is instead of just boring everybody to death with cruising along the interstate, our GPS throughout the whole entire trip this weekend, uh, we punched in avoid highways. So. We are not gonna get on the interstate. We're touring Virginia with nothing but like country roads and back roads and things like that. So it should be really exciting. I gotta tell you, some heated grips really come in, uh, really come in handy right now. <laughs> it's a small price to pay. What we're doing right now is we're going up to Street Bike Josh's garage up in Richmond, Staples Mill Auto Care. We're going to go bug him for a little bit and then uh, cruise on up to the campsite and get everything set up and figure it out from there. The first thing is uh, on our way up we're going to stop by Staples Mill Auto Care and, and say what's up street bike Josh, see how he's doing, make sure everything's good to go with him. He bought, he just bought a brand new Triumph Tiger. The thing from the pictures looks pretty awesome, uh, but it's brand new, so he's gonna. This weekend is his breaking period, which is gonna be exciting in itself. You know, I'm, I'm happy for him. He's uh, he's gonna be riding the hell out of that thing, I'm sure. I think it was delivered to his house. Today's Friday. It was delivered Tuesday, so that's exciting. I'm really hoping um, we have a pack talk bold for uh, comms unit for the group and I'm hoping that you guys can hear our conversations through my microphone and all that. I'm pretty sure you can because it is really loud inside of my helmet um, for the GPS and the music and all that. So I really hope uh, my microphone picks up our conversations because let me tell you something, we, uh, we're gonna have some pretty interesting conversations I'm sure, especially when we all get together and we're, we're riding around uh, for hours at a time. Pretty cold right now. But we're going in some of uh, some very pretty terrain, very pretty areas of our great state of Virginia. You 
you guys are going to see some really cool stuff. through the back the back way of Richmond before I've always just gone through like interstate and then the highway so this this is gonna be new and interesting Been 
here in a long time. Actually, like in Richmond. We passed through uh, around it a couple times, but not really in it. Gotta tell you, I don't miss it. <laughs> yeah, for a, a tour of the countryside of Virginia, I feel like we're doing something wrong. <laughs> I think he wants to race. Rev your motor at me, Mustang. You want to go? Uh, it's fairly busy. <laughs> uh oh, we got a phone call. Scott. He was uh he was telling me he's trying to get off around three, but he's not sure. And he's trying to keep the workload down, but yeah, you know, he's still gotta gotta make some kind of money. Right now, my GPS says I'll get there at 11:05, but I think I can beat that. problem I think we're going to run into is when we need gas. Uh, we still have uh, ways to go before we need to stop. Uh, I don't see any gas stations out here. so <laughs> We might have to jump on the highway or uh, stop and look it up in the GPS. And food. Uh, normally we have eaten by now and we are a little hungry. I'm pretty sure there's nowhere to eat out here either. So we're going to keep on cruising for a little while and see how long we can hold out. We absolutely have to stop. are set up they're set up so like proper and just uh, nice you know they just seem like they're all well kept very, very fancy like uh, classy I guess is the word for it wineries just are classy right <laughs> I've never been to one but I've seen a whole bunch We're gonna start looking for possibly a gas station 
and a place to get some food. The couple gas stations we've passed while we've been out here have bags on their pumps. There's a, a lot of people have bags on their tanks and it's, I don't know, it's just something we gotta work through. Something else we gotta work through, you know? <laughs> Besides the Rona and all that other crazy stuff going on. Probably not the best time to take a motorcycle trip across the state, but we're doing it. We'll figure it out along the way. That was a cool little town. Dixie, five miles, all right. Uh, you are closed down, okay.
It's a little town. I wonder if we can get some gas. Laundromat. All right. Seems like a quiet little place. Canoes. All right. Little gas station. Let's see. Place is not open for sale. No loitering. We're going to be prosecuted, assuming they have no gas. Well, yeah. on to the next one. Looks like we're not getting gas here, fellas. It's a nice little town. I kind of like it. It's cozy. Seems like a fairly busy road. Maybe there will be a gas station along this route. 15 miles. Huh? Found the gas station. I have no idea where we are. Um, yeah. So it's a two for one. This place is awesome. We had a, uh, we got a burger and we got gas. Good stuff. We're about 45 minutes out from the campsite. Get back onto the road. This Ram Mount so far has been great. It is, it's a little shaky, but it is extremely tight. <laughs> Quick little pit stop. That was the first thing I've eaten today. <laughs> Probably would have eaten sooner. Let's open this vent up a little bit. Getting a little warm. Would have eaten sooner uh, if we had realized that we are out in the middle of nowhere, up in the mountains, and there's not a whole lot out here to eat. Uh, or gas flies. So, there it is. That's where we're going. see we're gonna go down here and look at these probably 38 42 right? or 37 and 38 which I really don't want to be next to anybody let's uh let's see 36 that's way too close to everybody. Um, I 
I think 37 and 38 probably will work. And then we could go up there, but if we go up there, we have to get another site. I, I don't know. I can't call anybody because we have zero cell phone, cell phone service out here. So I guess we'll do 37 and 38. Play it safe so we won't get charged for an extra thing because people will complain. Uh, go ahead and set up.